Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger here with The Frustrated Foodie, and today we're gonna make pistachio chocolate fudge, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, I can't wait to share this with you, and thanks again for watching and learning along with us. The first time that I made the fudge, I was frustrated because I'm trying to lose some weight, I won't lie, and I was looking at chocolate, and it usually is really high in carbs, so I decided that I was gonna go out and dare eat 100% cocoa. And if you haven't had that in a chocolate bar form, it's pretty gross. So I bit into it and I was really mad. So I decided I was gonna go home and try to make it into something good. So the first time that I did it, I took the 100% cocoa, put it in the microwave, melted it down, added some coconut oil and some almond creamer, almond, uh, almond milk coffee creamer and mixed it together and put it in the freezer and crushed up some cashews and threw it in there as well and put it in the freezer. And that's what I did at home. Uh, when we went to the store last night, they did not have almond milk creamer. So we went, it, went with oat milk, which I had never used before. And also what we had here was agave syrup, which tastes great, but I think it messed with the balance of the uh, fudge a little bit. So it had a harder time freezing. So we have that in the fr uh, freezer right now. Um, we're kind of kind of messed with this recipe a little bit to see if maybe it freezes better and stays solid. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of everything. Yeah, so come on, we're gonna make some pistachio chocolate fudge. <laughs> So there's a couple of different ways that you can melt chocolate. Um, one of the ways you can do is put it in a microwave, but you have to really be very diligent and stand over top of it because it can burn pretty easily. So what we're gonna like to do is we're gonna have make it with a double boiler. Now, if you're wondering what a double boiler is, you don't need to go out and buy anything fancy. You just literally need a pot. We're gonna put some water in it, and then we're gonna put another pot on top. And it doesn't even have to be a real cooking pot. And the steam from the water when it, when it simmers is gonna gently heat up the pot so the um, chocolate can melt without it burning. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with water. And you really only wanna fill it up like half away or a quarter of the way, because really you're heating the double boiler with the steam. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on top. And we're gonna put the whole bar into the bowl. And then you wait. Um, one of the things I do like to do is add a little bit of extra fat to it will help. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little. So I have about a fourth of coconut oil right here mm -hmm. and just dump it right in. And this is one of those things that you should not walk away from. Mm -hmm. You need to stay on top of it. You need to get a little spoon and just kind of just massage it until you get into a nice thick slurry of lava, lovely chocolate. <laughs> now this is unsweetened chocolate. It's 100% cacao, 100% um, chocolate, and um, it doesn't have any sweetness at all. Like, like Harrison said, if you spoon this into your mouth or you try to bite it like a candy bar, you're gonna be very disappointed. Yes, you will, trust you, me. You'll get, you'll get angry. <laughs> I went to Harris Teeter and picked up a bar and I just bit into it in the parking lot and it was disgusting. I would have rather just eat dirt. So <laughs> that's kind of led to this. So for this, you can use cashews, peanuts, pistachios are what I chose for today, and also almonds would work great. Uh, you can either get lightly salted or raw, and it would be preferable to have them pre-cracked because taking care of pistachios kind of sucks. But I have about a third of a cup of the pistachios right here, and you can either wrap them up into a towel and hit them with like a meat tenderizer, or you can just chop them up like I'm about to, just kind of go until they're about, not a powder, but until about a grain or um, a little bit, little chunks. But you definitely don't want them in big pieces because that just wouldn't be good. If you 
wanted to get real creative, you could put some vanilla in here, orange peels, orange zest. You could put in edible lavender, rose petals, whatever you wanted to flavor this with. The whole point of this is learning the basic foundation and then you can tweak it. Some of them are going to turn out well, some of them aren't. But that's just how life goes. I mean, you've got to experiment to learn. We're almost ready with this. So what's our next step once this is completely melted, Harrison? So I'll probably just add the pistachios in, the crushed pistachios and the sugar while it's hot. And then we'll pour it into the mold, which has been lined with wax paper this time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and step out of the way and you can... Um sugar next because remember this is not sweetened so and we know that agave syrup does not work well it tastes great but it just has a hard time freezing mm -hmm. uh, so we have stevia here uh, raw stevia which is zero calorie which is nice but I have four packets again honey agave could work you could also use uh, swerve which is a brand of like zero calorie sugar but I'm just gonna go ahead and Kind of brute force this one and just open all four at once. Just sprinkle that in. That should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the double boiler now since everything's melting. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do about a half cup of oat milk, but again, cashew milk or almond milk or a non-dairy creamer option would be a great idea. We're gonna add that in. As soon as I add this in, it's gonna start cooling and getting solid. So we wanna mix that together and pour it as soon as possible into the mold. Mm -hmm. really quick. So we should go okay. ahead and awesome. Sorry. You're fine. Now for some added flavor, I'm gonna add some of this. Do you uh, want me to spread it out or are you gonna mix that in? I'll mix it in. in the mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out of your way here. For some added sweetness and flavor, we're gonna do some uh, coconut oil whip. Mix it in there. We call it cocoa crack. <laughs> and mix that in. Meanwhile, we're watching out again so it doesn't solidify too quick on us. And then we have kind of a mess. Kind of spreading it nice and even. Once it looks good enough, we'll throw it in the freezer. Looks good for now. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of pistachios on top for that added beauty mm -hmm. and texture so you know that there's pistachios in there. All right. Okay. So here's what it looks like before we put it in the freezer. Just going to throw it in for about 45 minutes to an hour. So we're doing the finishing touches. This is the fudge that we made last night and it was in the freezer for about an hour or two before it solidified. So we're gonna cut a nice little brick and put it in with some rice ice cream and drizzle a little honey and finish it off with a pinch of the rest of that pistachios, the, those pistachios that we did. It, it, did, it did gel up pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put that there. Wow, that looks pretty. I'll get this out of your way. 
Just a little bit of honey. Wow, you feel good. And then, here, I'll hold that for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, finish off the pistachios. And if you struggle with eating things that don't look as good as maybe um, non-vegan, non-gluten-free options, uh, and you want something that tastes better, in your mind, if you present it like this, it's going to taste better because you've put a lot of work into it and it also just looks a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. But plating things like this can make a huge difference when you're trying to stay within a diet and not eat things that are maybe sweeter or tastier. And, and you need to make things more of a production. Um, that, that'll help satisfy these cravings. So in here you have three raspberries, the rice milk, and then the, the fudge with some honey and some extra pistachios. And I'm gonna get some spoons and we're all gonna yeah. try it. We need to get a raspberry? Yep. Yeah. All right. And a piece of fudge. Or oh, you have mm -hmm. to cut a fudge, fudge up for me. Sorry, I, you can, as you can see, I can't wait. <laughs> And it destroys the presentation, but it's all good. Yeah, it's all good because it's going to taste good. Because believe me, on this diet, it's really hard to find some nice sweet treats. All right, she's just eating. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. It's very good. Very dynamic, too. Mm -hmm. the, it's, um, the rice milk goes really well with it. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the fudge is sorry for the double dip. All good. All right. Very good. Mm hmm So this is the fudge with the stevia in it. Mm -hmm. No, not the, the stevia. This is agave. Agave. Yep. So the only difference from this fudge and the fudge we just made in the show is the sweetener. So that's really good. Thanks again for watching. I hope when you make this, you enjoy this as much as we do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks again for all of your support, and we'll see you next time.